Hey guys, it's Kyle from Kyle Raps here, and today it's all about uh, fading in or out text fields, labels, and uh, buttons. So, as you can see here, this is the code we're dealing with. It's a very simple tutorial, so let's get straight into it. Go ahead and open up Xcode and create a new project. Make sure it is a single view application and we're going to call this fading. As always, I will be using the iPhone as a device and using xib.xib .xib files. Go ahead and save this to the, to the desktop for easy access. Now we want to go to the .h file. As always, we have our code. So, actually what we need to do is go to the XIB file, go to attributes, after you've clicked on the view, change this to 3.5, this we're going to keep in portrait, and this translucent black. Next, close the utilities and go to the uh, assistant. What you want to do here is open up and close the brackety thing. And actually, in utilities, we have to drag in a label. So find the center, a button, and a text field. We'll make that a little bit bigger. And we'll call this fade. Actually, we have to drag in two buttons. So just find two buttons and drag those in, and we'll just call this, we'll keep it button. We'll make that thicker, and we'll make this skinnier and long. And we'll call this, actually, keep everything the same. And inside the text field, let's just write text field. Center that. Okay, now we can close the utilities. Um, what we need to do here is right click on the label, drag it just under the, uh, sorry, just above the closing bracket, and call this label. Next, right click on the button, drag that uh, just under the label, and call this button. And lastly, sorry, not lastly, but second lastly, right click on the text field, drag it under the button, and call this text field. Connect that. Now, just under the uh, closing bracket, uh, change the connection to action. Name this fade. and make sure it is touch up inside and it is sender connect that now close the assistant and go to the dot m now this is all the code we need for this so ui view begin animations here, just write nil, and the context, null. And of course, the closing and the semicolon. Go to the next line. Open up a bracket type thing, and write UI view again, set animation, not delay, but duration. This is where you would want to uh, set the amount of time it will take for it to fade away. Um, instead of doing one second, let's do two. So, 2.0. Close it and a semicolon. Go to the next line. Here, just write a bracket label. Set alpha. And here, just write zero. Close, semicolon. 
Do the same for the button and the text field. Now, <clears throat> we are going to commit to it. So, UI view, space, commit, animations, and close with a semicolon. That is it for all the code. It is all linked up. Uh, I will explain this here. So, basically what's happening is, uh, when you select this button, the label, the button, and the text field will go away all at the same time. So, let's run this in the simulator. Okay, there's our view with our fade button, our label, our button, and our text field. So once we select fade, they fade away. Now, say you want only one of them to fade at a certain time, and then another one to fade after, and another one to fade after. How you would do that? Simple. Say we want this one, the duration of it, two seconds. Okay? Simple. But, go under here, UI view. Next, write set animation delay. Here, there's going to be a one second, sorry, zero second uh, delay, which means it'll happen automatically. The duration of it will be one. Next, make sure you have at least one. So we're going to do label first, then button, then text field. Go under that and write that same one again. Only this time, right, one second. No, sorry, two seconds. And the last one, which is the text field, the same thing again, only with four seconds. Again, this is for the purpose of the tutorial. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm just uh, showing you what this actually does. It's always good to use the uh, decimal you can write too, but I'm not quite sure. Actually, I'm quite sure that it does work, um, but I find that using in, uh, not the integer, sorry, the uh, decimals help for precise timing. So now when we run this in the simulator, we select fade, first label, then button, then text field. Simple as that. Say you want fade to leave, well, what you would do is right click under IB Outlet uh, Text Field, just connect this and say Fade. Sorry, let's make this a capital so we can uh, see both of them. Now you just write the same thing that you did before. So UI View, Set Animation, Delay. We're going to make this uh, 0.5, close and semicolon. Now select fade and set alpha to 0 and a colon. Now, when I say set alpha, basically it's saying that we want it to go from fully non-translucent to 0 or completely non-translucent, sorry, translucent. Um, now, say you want this to fade in. It's a different story, but first let's uh, go ahead and type this. And yes, we did not connect the uh, button. So open up utilities, go to connections, files owners. Now connect fade to fade and get rid of the uh, access one. I don't think you guys should have that. Now when we select fade the button and the label will go together closely 
and as always those two. So say we want those to fade in. Well what you would do is click on the one that you have selected or you can actually select all by just uh, pressing shift and then selecting the ones that you want. Go to assist, sorry, not assistant, uh, I forget what it's called, attributes, and set the alpha to zero. So as you can see, they are completely disappeared. Next in the uh, .m file, make sure this is set to one for all the set alphas. Now this is if you want them to fade in, not fade out. Of course, now that we don't have our button there, we actually will set this to zero and go back to the uh, fade button and change the alpha, which is just under the uh, view here, change that to one to make sure that it is there when uh, we have run, sorry, when we run our simulator. Now fade, that goes away, these all pop up. Again, still working, you can use the text field, of course we can't see the text field because it's not scroll view, button works and label as you can see. Now, say you want uh, them to fade automatically without a button being pressed, obviously it's a matter of copying, pasting. Simple as that. Now we can just get rid of the fade button, go to the dot H, take away the button. Of course we need to uh, delete the button altogether and make sure that it is gone. Okay. Now we have to make sure these are all connected. Okay, we actually have to also get rid of the uh, button here. Now, when you run this in the simulator, when you run this in the simulator, uh, it will automatically load up them immediately. This is, uh, I think, used for most games that have the uh, three, two, one, go. The, that type of app. Um, so that's very useful. Um, of course, I do believe you can use this for mostly anything. So segment controls, sliders, switches, um, progress view, um, I'm guessing a lot of it. So text field and image field. Sorry, text view and image view. You can use that for about anything as long as you have the uh, IB outlet in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any other video suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, or you can Skype me at Kyle Greenlaw or new. You can go to um, us on Facebook by searching up Cairo Apps and just the, leave a comment on the uh, page or my uh, friend page because I now have a page for that. Uh, and I will now be accepting all friend requests that come in as, it, as of this time. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Peace.